I'm Lindsay Sanderson, Minister of Hamilton United Reformed Church in South Park Road. Thank you for inviting me to be part of CADSO's Advent calendar this year. I've been a minister in the Congregational Church and then the URC for almost 25 years, working firstly as a mission enabler supporting congregations in Scotland as they participate in mission in their local communities, and then serving as the Assistant General Secretary for Action of Churches Together in Scotland, before coming to be in pastoral ministry in East Kilbride and Hamilton. I'm minister of three small congregations in the two towns. I've been in Hamilton since February 2017 and I enjoy opportunities to work with other congregations in the town, particularly at Holy Week and through Drama Kirk and the Jubilee Key Scheme. Our reading today is Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38, and I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. The birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am still a virgin? The angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Please join with me in prayer. The angel said to Mary, for nothing will be impossible with God. Holy God, you are beyond our comprehension and our imagining. Your ways are not our ways. Your time is not our time. For you chose a young unmarried woman to be the mother of your son. Your son who lived in an occupied land under Roman tyranny and called a ragtag bunch of uneducated people to be his disciples. It is not the way we would set about transforming the world, ushering in your kingdom of justice and peace. Holy God, you are beyond our comprehension. Our minds like to ask how, and there is no answer that fits with what we know from science or by observing the world, sending messages via angels, creating unexplained pregnancies in women, young and old. Holy God, you are beyond our comprehension. So lead us to the place of faith, where, like Mary, we can give our assent, despite our fears and unknowing, and place our trust in you. Amen. <laughs>